In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the mean from a frequency table. But first of all, let's recap how to find the mean of a list of numbers. To find the mean, you need to add all the data values So that means add all the numbers in the list and then divide that sum by the number of data values. How many do we have in total in this list? So that's how you would normally find the mean from a list of data. Okay, finding it from a frequency table isn't going to be too dissimilar. Let's see how that list of numbers, which is actually the shoe sizes of 12 students, how that fits into a frequency table. Well, as you can see, there is one student who had a size 5 shoe. There are three who had a size 6, four with a size 7, three with a size 8, and one with a size 9. Nothing special there. So if the question says, find the mean of this data, and that's exactly what we had on the previous slide, then let's think about where that data would come from if it was in the form of a list. There would be one five, there would be three sixes, there would be four sevens, there would be three eights, and there would be one nine. And we know how to find the mean. If you're not sure, then go back and watch the video about how to find the mean from a list of numbers. So let's add those all up, and the sum of those numbers is equal to 84. Now we're going to divide it by how many numbers there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to do 84 divided by 12. I could do this using my knowledge of the 12 times table, but it's always useful to back it up by using short division. 12 into 8 doesn't go. 12 into 84 goes 7 times. So the mean of this set of numbers is 7. And that's how to find the, the mean from a frequency table. Simply extract the numbers out of the frequency table, put them into a list, and then add them all up and divide by the sum. Okay, that's the end of the video.